All right, here off the Dome Media Group. In this one, we're talking about how to make your drone battery last longer and avoid this. What can I say? Be right back. Okay, guys, what you just saw, I consider to be an avoidable, epic battery failure. What made it epic is that it happened at the beginning of a video and photo shoot for a prom send off. We were setting up to get some shots of the front of the house and the block. I did my pre-flight checklist. Everything was fine. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? As you see, I began to ascend slowly to six to eight feet. I glanced down at my monitor and noticed that my battery was blinking red. At that point, I immediately started a controlled descent. I was able to get the drone about four feet above the ground and then it dropped like a rock. Now here's the backstory. I actually did two additional pre-flight checks before the event. I did the first pre-flight check two days before the event. The second one, I did the night before. I did this because I hadn't flown this particular drone in a few months. Now, before you comment, know this. The drone was maintained, including making sure that the firmware was up to date, cycling the batteries on schedule, props were in good shape, etc. When I checked the batteries, I noticed two out of the three batteries would not take a charge, and two of them were newer. I labeled both with a sticker over the power button marked dead with the date. The third battery charged and showed all four LEDs lit, which showed that it was at 100%. Now, what had I done wrong? As I said earlier, I hadn't flown this drone in a few months. Lousy smart weather. But what I forgot was that I charged the batteries and planned on flying. Something came up and I never got a chance to put the drone in the air. Months went by with the batteries in the case fully charged. And these are older batteries, so they don't automatically discharge after a certain period of time. Two of the batteries died, and the third battery gave me a false indication of being fully charged. So what are the lessons learned here? Number one, always follow your drone manufacturer's instructions on charging, cycling, and the proper storage of your batteries. Number two, keep a logbook and stickers to make note of repairs to your drone, batteries, and accessories. Number three is one I've been doing for a while. On takeoff, slowly ascend to a few feet above the ground and kind of hover there for a minute or two just to make sure everything is okay. Had I not done this on takeoff and just launched into the air, there would have been more damage to my drone and possible property or even worse, personal injury. Well, I hope this one helps you. The shoot went well even with no drone shots. If you want to check out the video, the link is in the description below. Remember, if you want to go commercial and make some money doing what you love and learn all there is to know about the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate, do what I did. Check out remotepilot101.com. The link is in the description below. Remember to like, comment, follow, and share. And more importantly, fly safe. Peace.